Hello, welcome to the Aaron Schwartz channel. I'm going to read from Ephesians 4 and part of Ephesians 5. <clears throat> so I, the prisoner for the Lord, appeal to you to live a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called. That is to live a life that exhibits godly character, moral courage, personal integrity, and mature behavior. A life that expresses gratitude to God for your salvation. With all humility, forsaking self-righteousness, embracing gentleness, maintaining self-control, with patience, bearing with one another in unselfish love. Make every effort to keep the oneness of the spirit of the bond of peace, each individually working together to make the whole successful. There is one body of believers and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when called to salvation. One Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all of us who is sovereign over all and working through all and living in all. Yet grace, God's undeserved favor, was given to each one of us in different ways in proportion to the measure of Christ's rich and abundant gift. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led captivity captive, and he bestowed gifts on men. Now this expression, he ascended, what does it mean except that he had also previously descended from the heights of heaven into the lower parts of the earth? He who descended is the very same as he who also ascended high above all the heavens, that he, his presence, might fill all things, that is, the whole universe. And his gift to the church were varied, and he appointed himself as some of the apostles, special messengers and representatives, some as prophets who speak a new message from God to the people, some as evangelists who spread good news of salvation, and some as pastors and teachers to shepherd and guide and instruct. And he did this to fully equip to fully equip and perfect the saints, God's people, for work of service, to build up the body of Christ the church. Until we reach oneness in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God, growing spiritually to become a mature believer, reaching to the measure of the fullness of Christ, manifesting his spiritual completeness and exercising our spiritual gifts in unity, so that we are no longer children spiritually immature, tossed back and forth like ships on a stormy sea and carried about by every wind of shifting doctrine, by the cunning and trickery of unscrupulous men, by the deceitful scheming of people ready to do anything for personal profit, but speaking the truth in love in all things, both our speech and lives expressing his truth, let us grow up in all things into him following his example, who is the head, Christ. From him, the whole body, the church, and all of its various parts, joined and knitted firmly together, by what every joint supplies, when each part is working properly, causes the body to grow and mature, building itself up in unselfish love. So I say this and solemnly affirm together with the Lord as in his presence, that you must no longer live as unbelieving in the futility of their minds and foolishness and emptiness of their souls, for their moral understanding is darkened and their reasoning is clouded. They are alienated and self-banished from the life of God with no share in it, this is because of the willful ignorance and spiritual blindness that is deep-seated within them, because of the hardness and insensitivity of their heart. And they, the ungodly, in their spiritual apathy, have become callous and unfeeling, and have given themselves over as prey to unbridled sensuality, eagerly craving the practice of every kind of impurity that their desires may demand. But you did not learn this way from Christ. In fact, you have really heard him and have been taught by him, just as in truth is in Jesus revealed in his life and personified in him. That regarding your previous ways of life, you put off your old self, completely discard your former nature, which is being corrupted through deceitful desires, and be continually renewed in the spirit of your mind, having a fresh, untarnished mental and spiritual attitude, and put on the new self, the regenerated and renewed nature, created in God's image, godlike in righteousness and holiness of the truth, living in a way that expresses to God your gratitude for your salvation. Therefore, reject all falsehoods, whether lying, defrauding, telling half-truths, spreading rumors, or any such as these. Instead, speak truth, each one with his neighbor, for we are all parts of one another and we are all parts of the body of Christ. Be angry at sin, at immorality, at injustice and ungodly behavior, yet do not sin. Do not let your anger cause you shame, nor allow it to last until the sun goes down. And do not give the devil an opportunity to lead you into sin by holding a grudge or nurturing anger or harboring resentment or cultivating bitterness. Repent instead. The thief who has become a believer must no longer steal, but instead he must work hard, making an honest living, producing that which is good with his own hands, so that he will have something to share with those in need. 
Do not let unwholesome, foul, profane, worthless, or vulgar words ever come out of your mouth, but only such things, only such speech as is good for building up others according to the need and the occasion, so that it will be a blessing to those who hear you speak. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, but seek to please him by whom you were sealed and marked, branded as God's own for the day of redemption, the final deliverance from the consequences of sin. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor, perpetual animosity, resentment, strife, fault finding and slander be put away from you, along with every kind of malice, spitefulness, verbal abuse or malevolence. Be kind and helpful to one another, tender hearted, compassionate, understanding, forgiving one another freely and readily, just as God in Christ also forgave you. Become imitators of God, copy him and follow his example as well-beloved children imitate their father. And walk continually in love, that is to value one another, practicing empathy and compassion, unselfishly seeking the best for others, just as Christ also loved you and gave himself up for us, an offering and sacrifice to God, slain for you so that it became a sweet fragrance. But sexual immorality and all moral impurity, indecent, offensive behaviors, or greed must not even be hinted at among you, as is proper for saints. For as believers, our way of life, whether in public or private, reflects the validity of our faith. Let there be no filthiness or silly talk or coarse, obscene, or vulgar joking, because th such things are not appropriate for believers, but instead speak of your thankfulness to God. For be sure of this, no immoral, impure, or greedy person, for that one is in effect an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God, for such a person places a higher value on something other than God. Let no one deceive you with empty arguments that encourage you to sin, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience, those who habitually sin. So do not even participate or associate with them in their rebelliousness of sin, for once you lived in darkness, but now you live in the light of the Lord. Walk as children of the light, living as those who are native born to the light, for the fruit, the effect, the result of the light consists of all goodness and righteousness, trying to learn by experience what is pleasing to the Lord and letting your lifestyles be examples of what is most acceptable to him. Your behavior expressing gratitude to God for your salvation. Do not participate in worthless and unproductive deeds of darkness, but instead expose them by exemplifying personal integrity, moral courage, and godly character. For it is disgraceful to even mention the things that such people practice in secret. But all things become visible when they are exposed by the light of God's precepts, for it is the light that makes everything vis visible. For this reason, he says, Awake, sleeper, and arise from the dead, and Christ will shine as dawn upon you and give you light. Therefore, see that you walk carefully, living life with honor, purpose, and courage, shunning those who tolerate and enable evil, as wise, sensible, intelligent, discerning people, making the very most of your time on earth, recognizing and taking advantage of each opportunity and using it with wisdom and diligence because the days are filled with evil. Therefore, do not be foolish and thoughtless, but understand and firmly grasp what the will of the Lord is. Don't get drunk, for that is wickedness, corruption, and stupidity, but be filled with the Holy Spirit and constantly guided by him. Speak to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, offering praise by singing and making melody with your heart to the Lord. Always giving thanks to God the Father for all things in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, being subject to one another out of reverence for Christ. The word of the Lord. Amen.